Hi, my name is Michael and I have been in recovery since 2009. My, my story goes way back starting in sixth grade when I first started using drugs in sixth grade. My drug use progressed uh, all the way through my life until I was, until 2009. I'm 54 years old now, so that gives you a general idea of my timeline if you're good at math. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the past. What happened to me in the past was that I got into drugs because I felt socially different. I felt kind of outcasted. I was awkward. I had big glasses. I had buck teeth. I had all these things that I thought were going against me. So it was natural for me to gravitate towards the people that use drugs because I was easily accepted in that. That led to relationship with people. That led me into involvement of bad things. A lot of history with using drugs, uh, gang activity, car uh, theft, uh, chop shops, all sorts of criminal elements in my life that uh, became what I was involved in for decades after that. During that time, of course, I had my run-ins with the law, uh, many a drug rehabilitation center, um, exhausted all of my avenues that the court would provide for me to get my life back together. I ignored them. I always knew better. I always thought I could do this on my own. I never thought I was an addict. All these things just kept going on in my life that kept me staying in a life of misery. Eventually it got to the point where I was continually doing time. I kept getting charges for possessions, charges for weapons. I was constantly in and out of jails, led to long terms in prison. I was basically doing life on the installment plan. Through all of this, I have ruined relationships, terrible employment history. My education came to a standstill. And I learned to exist, just living in misery. It was terrible. It was not uncommon for me to think that death was my only way out. That one of these days that I would take a, a amount of drugs that would just end it all and I'd have nothing to worry about. It wasn't until I got into recovery through a 12-step program after I was just exhausted and, you know, sick and tired of being sick and tired. I had no other thing to try but recovery. And I did. And thankfully because of a few people that cared, that made a difference in my life in recovery, I started participating in it and started to get the hang of it and it became easier and easier to do. I learned to listen to others that have walked through this and take their suggestions and apply them to my life. I was able to start learning more about myself, how to work on myself, what the possibilities were for me. I no longer kept hitting a wall because of my past. You know, my past is filled with felonies, prison time, trauma, bad situations. And I use that as an excuse on why I couldn't get better. And after I started learning the process of recovery, and how to work on myself, I was able to start getting better and I was able to start breaking down those laws. Today in recovery, I am an active member of Narcotics Anonymous. I am also a peer supporter for the Montana Peer Network. I am active in recovery things such as I'm on the H&I panel for Narcotics Anonymous. Uh, that means I go into hospitals and institutions and speak to others. Uh, I bring peer support to our state uh, the pet chemical dependency center. I am an advocate for people in situations where recovery is needed uh, and it has turned my life around. It has given me the ability now to function in our society as a citizen to feel good about myself. I actually get to be part of a community now. I get to be part of society. The things that I did in the past past are actually a blessing for what I'm doing in the future because I can help those with similar past as mine with a positive story of how to get to a better place in the future. My wellness I can give to others and in doing so it gives back to me. Peer support is absolutely an essential part of my life and I am truly grateful for it.